talk about everything in Call of Duty Warzone is real. What is up everybody, Chaos here. Welcome uh, to the channel. Turn on those notifications so you don't miss anything when it comes to the new Warzone in Call of Duty Modern Warfare. And yes, I was lucky enough to get flown out and capture gameplay and play this all day. This and another game mode called Plunder, which we'll talk about tomorrow. It's a respawn mode. It's all about collecting cash, but we're not here to talk about that. We're here to talk about Warzone. And big shout out to Activision and Infinity Ward for hosting me and giving me the chance to bring you guys some exclusive gameplay that you see on the screen here. This video is going to cover everything. It is going to be my honest review of Call of Duty Warzone. We're going to talk about the facts. We're going to talk about everything in it. I'm going to give you guys some tips when it comes to it. And then tomorrow, we will talk about the plunder game mode. So let's just get into this. Like I said, turn on your notifications, make sure you have that bell rung and make sure you have your YouTube notifications on so you never miss an upload. Drop a like guys. And if you have any questions, put them in the comment section or tweet at me and I will answer them as quick as I can. So let's start off with the obvious. Warzone is a free to play battle royale game with an extra respawn mode, which we'll talk about that you can download and play for free, and it is cross-platform. Now, let me let me specify really quick, okay? That means it's free to play. You do not have to have Modern Warfare. If you don't own Modern Warfare and you have a PlayStation 4, you can go download Warzone and play right now. Now, you won't have access to everything that you would if you had Modern Warfare when it comes to your skins and your stuff like that, your custom guns, all that stuff, but you can go play and you can play with friends cross-platform. Completely free to play. You do not have to own Modern Warfare. I want to reiterate that one more time, which is huge. It's absolutely huge. So let's go through the list. I'm going to tell you everything that I can tell you about it, get you started for when you actually jump in there and play. The map is huge. Probably the biggest Battle Royale map I've, I've seen. And it's not only huge, it's stunning. It is absolutely gorgeous and they were telling us how they did it in the past you take like files and you copy paste buildings to to build out these maps and to do things they didn't do it that way they custom made and custom designed every single building in the warzone battle royale map every single one every one you see is custom designed so you're never going to feel like you're just walking into a copy pasted hut as let's take fortnite for instance you go in a building and then it looks really familiar when you go in that building again somewhere on the other side of the map. You're not going to get that with Warzone. Every building you go in and go around, every structure, every point of interest is custom made. What you guys are going to see, you're going to see in there, you're going to appreciate it. You're going to be like, wow, this is actually cool. So the, the uh, groups you can play right now is one solos, two, and three people, which is what we played. Me, uh, uh, Drifter, and Charlie Intel played together. That's the gameplay you guys are probably seeing on the screen right now. And you're probably going to ask, well, are they going to put squads in it for? I don't know. I don't know if they are or not. I know it's 150 people right now. And I did hear talks that in the future, possibly maybe nothing confirmed that it could go up to 200. But right now it's 150 and playing with threes with trios felt really, really good. The game is fast. And I know you're going to think the opposite of that. You think Battle Royale, 150 people, but this map is absolutely massive, Jimmy. And I thought the same thing. But the way they have the gas coming in and the way the rotation works with the circles and the looting is fast, which we'll talk about in a minute, the whole game feels fast. It does not feel like a long, drawn-out ordeal, which was something that I instantly, instantly liked about it. You drop in, you have a pistol, you do not start with your fist, and I want to compare the map one more time visually to Blackout. Blackout's a really good-looking map. This one takes it to an entire another level. Yeah, I'm not joking. I'm not drinking Kool-Aid. You'll see when you actually drop in. So some stuff you want to look for when you're on the map. You drop in, you have your pistol, obviously you're going to go try to loot. There are buy stations set up throughout the map where you can go buy kill streaks. That's the only way that you can get kill streaks in the Battle Royale version of on Warzone, okay? You go to the buy stations, you can buy kill streaks, you can buy stuff like that. You can even buy respawn tokens, which will or revive tokens if you want to talk about that. Actually, we'll jump on that really quick. So, and this was a huge part of the game mode and a huge part of the meta. Every game we played, 
at least one of us would die and then the others would have to go get enough cash to buy us back. I think it was like 4,500 bucks and it worked that way where we always had a chance. We always had a chance because if one guy was alive, he could go try to go out and get enough money and bring us back and every game we played, that's what happened. One or two of us would die, the other would bring us back and then we would go uh, on into the game towards the end game, which was really, really cool. So yes, you can actually spawn back in. There's two ways. One is the buy station where you buy the revive and the other is the gulag. Now, uh, custom guns, let me talk about that. I'm gonna bounce back and forth here. The only way you get custom guns is if they drop in supply crates or loot crates or whatever balloons that come down. We'll talk about that more here in a minute. The gulag, you've heard it, you've heard the leaks, it is true. So, when you die for the first time at a certain time limit, when it gets to a certain part of the match, this is not possible, but until then, if you die, you go into the gulag and you are going to 1v1 for your life and being able to come back with your team. But it's not just that, okay? You get in the gulag and you're in the upper level of the gulag looking down at the showers, right? So you are spectating whoever is 1v1ing. If you have a partner that died with you, you could be spectating him while he is fighting his 1v1 and you could be calling out to him where the enemy is. But on top of that, you can throw rocks at the enemy. So if you're up there waiting for your turn, you have rocks in your hand that you can throw down on the enemy, which actually stuns them and help your teammate out in their 1v1. Now, what they said was there's all kinds of different versions of the Gulag, so it's not going to be the same every time. And if you win your 1v1, you drop back into the game. It is a super, super cool dynamic that I think you guys are absolutely going to love. There are Easter eggs everywhere on this map everywhere guys i mean there's terminals on the map you go in terminal there's a tv that's playing the mile high club mission there is stuff that we are going to be finding for probably months on to years with this map so if you find cool easter eggs you make sure to tweet me so we can show them off and show everybody it's it's gonna be cool now like i said free to play cross platform you don't have to own modern warfare with this let's talk a little bit about the map and the customization of the map there are maps from uh, Infinity Ward Classics in there. Broadcast is in there. Overgrown is in there. Scrapyard is in there. Terminal is in there. A couple of the Modern Warfare 2019 maps are in there. There are all those. But there are a ton of custom new points of interest that you've never seen. They did a great job of sprinkling nostalgia across it. I mean, Broadcast, come on. Overgrown? That's cool. You're going to be playing and all of a sudden you're going to look around and be like, this looks familiar. Or you're in Terminal and you're like, ah, this is really cool, but there's so much. There's like, there's, there's thousands of buildings on this map. And there are so many points of interest that you've never experienced before that it's going to make this feel like a new experience every time you jump in and play for a long, long time. Vehicles, of course, the map is huge. Uh, choppers are key. I mean, you want choppers. You want to be able to traverse the map. You've got two man vehicles. I think you've got uh, one uh, like warthog type vehicle that you can put somebody as a gunner on top. There's big trucks you can drive. Vehicles are everywhere. They didn't feel wonky. They felt smooth. They weren't glitchy or anything like that. They actually worked very well. I know a lot of people want to know about armor and I'll tell you three levels of armor. I don't think it's anything special. So you don't, I, I don't think you actually uh, like get armor like blackout. It's just plates and you can hold up to five plates and you can equip them on the run while you're going and you can get, I think you can just put three plates on. I think that's what it was. You can correct me if I'm wrong, but it's a much more simplified, fair version uh, of armor. Okay. And with that, let's touch on looting for a second. The looting, I told you at the beginning, the map is huge, but everything plays fast. The looting is the key component to why this plays fast. You can't put attachments on or anything like that. Looting is fast. When you pop open a supply box or whatever you're looting out of, all the loot drops on the floor. You can really, really quickly identify what you need and what you don't need, and you can go about your way. You guys are going to see this and you're truly, truly gonna appreciate it because you're going to be looting much faster than you have in other Call of Duties and much faster than you did in Blackout. That was one of the main things that I attached to and absolutely loved was how fast you can actually loot in this game and how simplified they have made the process when it comes to armor plates, when it comes to loot, when it comes to sharing with people. You can uh, talk, you can toggle and identify spots or loot or whatever you want to convey to, you can ping. You can ping your spots for your teammates. Everything is simplified and it makes it super streamlined and fast. Now, like I said, 
Tomorrow we're going to touch on Plunder. We're going to go into it. I'm going to give you an honest review of that. That is a respawn game mode about cash on the same map. But we're not going to talk about that today. And I want to give you a couple cons. I'm not going to give you an honest review and not tell you the stuff that I didn't enjoy or I'm worried about. Cons are, I think we could go with four-man squads on this map right now. I think you could do five-man squads. That's not necessarily a con. It's just something that I would like to see in the future. The one thing that really concerns me is killstreak spam. Because you as a team can buy up killstreaks at the buy stations as you go throughout the match. And then I know we got in a couple in-game small circles where it was just like, I mean, it was cluster strikes or whatever, harrier strikes, whatever they were called, everywhere. So I'm really concerned about the killstreak spam and the end game in the last couple circles, and maybe they'll figure that out how to balance it. But right now, that's probably my biggest concern. So there you go. That is a quick deep dive into Warzone. Once again, free to play, cross platform. You don't have to own Modern Warfare. You can go on and download it absolutely for free. One, two, and three man teams, 150 people right now. And uh, it's a ton of fun. It really, really is. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll be bringing you more about it as we go. You guys tell me what videos you would like to see. Definitely going to do like a 10 hidden spots, 10 Easter eggs, 10 play, play, or best.